all right fellow pots welcome back to the channel uh before we start guys let me just give a shout out to my sponsor which is no one except coffee um i love coffee if you guys drink coffee uh just let me know guys i mean is there anybody else out there who drinks as much coffee as me i doubt it my wife says i'm an addict and she's probably right and she sent me this uh text saying that too much coffee is not good for you as i sent her a video of slow motion coffee i was pouring espresso at work and uh, i love coffee anyways guys we're done talking about coffee. Let's get into this. My name is Jose. I'm an air traffic controller uh, in real life at Miami International Airport as opposed to that sim. And I love flight sim VR, aviation tech related stuff. So uh, that's what we're going to do here. And in this video, I'm going to be building up on my last video, which shows you how to record Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 in virtual reality without that binocular vision. So that's what you see here behind me. Now, in this video, we're going to be adding one more little tip that I forgot to mention. Thank you to Drew, who reminded me, and Jay, who had mentioned it before, because I have actually done this before in the past and I forgot to mention it. But I'm going to show you how to make it look HD at virtually zero FPS costs and not look pixelated. So welcome to the channel and uh, let's get into this brief tutorial and also expect the flight to be on a separate video just to keep this one short. But uh, yeah, welcome, guys. Here we go. All right, guys, so just be advised, this will work with AMD. Again, you just have to uh, increase your resolution in AMD to 4K on your desktop and then uh, boot up the game and set OBS to record accordingly. So I'm going to show you how to do it with NVIDIA and it's pretty straightforward. So check it out. Right click on desktop, go to the NVIDIA control panel. And on the left side, you're going to have a couple drop down menus under display. Go to uh, change resolution and then customize. Right here, you're not gonna have anything. As you see on my screen, I already have one set in. You guys can hit, uh, cre uh, I'm sorry, check the box, enable resolutions not exposed by the display, and then create custom resolution. Under horizontal pixels, put in 3840 by 2160. Hit test, your screen might flicker, it might not, give it a minute, and it should come right back to your 1080p panel saying that excellent, it was added, but it doesn't give you the 4K resolution automatically. It doesn't apply it. So now you see this box here, it should show you that you're good to go. Hit okay. On your left side, you're now gonna have custom right above your ultra HD, uh, HDSD resolution here. So there's a second way to do this. Let me show you that before we take the next step in case you wanna do it this way. I find that the way I just showed you now is better, but maybe it doesn't work out for you and you need to try it a different way. Manage 3D settings on the top. Uh, under 3D settings, you're gonna scroll down to DSR factors. Right here, you can uh, put four times native resolution and that will essentially do the same thing. Hit check, okay, then apply in the bottom right corner. And then when you go back to change resolution, it's gonna be available there for you. Don't do both, I've done it. It doesn't seem to do anything other than just kind of show that you have only one 4K resolution. So do one or the other. If one doesn't work, give the other one a try. Now understand as soon as I hit apply to 4K, all my OBS settings and everything's gonna go out of whack. So I'm gonna hit apply, it's gonna go out of whack, then I'm gonna fix it and we'll be right back. Okay, so uh, here we are. Part of the downside of running a 4K resolution on a 1080p panel is things are going to be a little bit smaller and not as crisp as 4K. And this does kind of work. It does give you a little bit more real estate. But uh, if you want the icons bigger and a couple of the, the letters a little bit bigger, let me show you how to do that real fast. Right click on desktop, go to display settings and scale and layout. Increase it to uh, 250. That's a good start. And as you can see, my icons on desktop are a little bit bigger. So we're gonna leave that there for now, 250. It's not gonna increase everything. Let me show you OBS real fast. So it looks like uh, OBS kind of did take. Everything's looking sort of good. Oh, actually you see right here, display, that one area didn't take. So it looks a little bit smaller. Um, anyways, now the next step is pretty simple. We're gonna go into the game. So we have Microsoft Flight Simulator loaded here. And let me show you real fast so you can see this. My resolution is set to 1080p. You do not have to increase that to 4K. So leave that resolution 1080p. Go ahead, load the game up. I'm gonna hit control tab. My headset is over there on the floor. Or not on the floor, it's on my sim pit. Um, now we are recording. Let me go alt tab back to Microsoft Flight Sim. So here in OBS, let me turn this on. Perfect. So check out this resolution. 
and I'm stretching out this image, right? So I've showed you guys how to do this in the previous video. If you want all my settings for OBS, the links, how to set that up. Let me grab my headset. Okay, so here we are, guys. We are recording. HD, look at that. Check that out. It looks really good. It's a little shaky because it's in my hand and because you're zooming in. Let's put this outside. That's so crazy. So that's how you do it, guys. Uh, essentially, um, just having that 4K desktop resolution somehow pushes more pixel into OBS and it looks HD. So I'm going to have the flight from St. Martin to uh, St. Bart's coming up here on a separate video. So look out for that. But hope you guys enjoyed this and thumbs up if you learned something. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll try to help out and welcome to the channel. Appreciate you guys watching.